This place is electric, and the racing is spectacular. It's the kind of racing you talk about for days and weeks to come. It's that good here at Watkins Glen. You're not always perfect every week. You want to be. When you have opportunities to win and you have really good cars and you're in contention, those days are when the pressure, in my opinion, is there more. You have pressure to win no matter what. It's a performance-driven sport. and we've got a long history of winning at Hendrick Motorsports, and we pride ourselves on doing it. It's ultimately why I do this. Drivers, start your engines! Appreciate it, fellas, as always. Nice and smooth today. Pace cars on pit road, everybody in the grandstand on their feet as the green flag waves at Watkins Glen and we are underway. What a nice break by Denny Hamlin. He jumps out by a car link. Head start behind you, already got three out the back, straddling two. That was completely mind blown that the 11 was racing Kyle like he was. I just could not understand that on the first lap. I mean, they about wrecked each other. They are getting at it hot and heavy here in the opening laps. I don't know, I just thought that was the craziest thing ever on lap one. Hamlin refuses to yield, and somehow Kyle Busch completes the pass for the lead. Uh, I think Kyle knew that if he got the lead, he could kind of control the race, and we were close to him to start, and, and then Danny, I think, was holding everybody up. Man, you know you're in a gunfight today. It's, it's time to go. Who will come to pit road and who will not? The opportunity to make a pit stop before the green checkered flag comes out. Here comes Chase Elliott, second, third, fourth, coming to pit road. It was really just a strategy play, you know, based on when your fuel window was to get to the end. You know, ideally I'd love to stay it out, but I just felt like getting behind all the guys who were going to pit, gonna put us in a bad position. Go, 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 go. Green checkered flag comes out. Martin Truex Jr. He will score the stage win. Chase Elliott and Eric Jones on row number two. Uh, here we go. Here we come now. Green flag goes back in the air. Elliott will take the second spot. For the first time this afternoon, there's company at the back door for the leader, Kyle Busch. I had a good restart and was able to kind of pace him and stay with him. You know, he had a couple bobbles there through the bus stop and the carousel, and I was close enough to make a move through 10. He sets up to take the race lead in turn seven. Chase Elliott goes to the point. All right, green checker right here and save fuel, save fuel. He'll win stage two here at Watkins Glen. Sure, Glen. Can he keep this thing going and score his first career win? So the run to the checkered flag begins. Green flag goes back in the air. Chase Elliott on the inside. I had a bad restart into one. I overdrove one. He goes a little bit wide, opens the door downstairs for Kyle Busch. He'll take the lead away. That was where I felt like we lost control of the race. Trouble off the end of the back stretch, the car of Matt DiBenedetto. How big is this caution? Here come the cars now, in for service, lap 55. When that happened, you know, what track position you had, then then you everybody was going to be back on even ground at that point. Go, 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 go. Chase Elliott just clipped one of his crew members. Yeah, sorry about that, Nick. He's laughing. Nick was joking before. He said it's not a penalty to take your tire changer out of the box. You just can't work on it out of the box. I didn't mean to take him literally, but glad he was all right. We just gave this race away. I want to go ahead and make that clear. We did not get fuel in the car. That fuel probe broke or something. We'll have to pit here. Kyle Busch is going to have to restart at the back of the field. I mean, that was a big deal because he was going to be, you know, one guy I felt like we had to race and beat. Everybody's pretty much good to the end here. It's close. Just save all you can. And when you get an opportunity to attack, you know, attack, but just don't be frivolous with it. Ready? Ready? Green. Here comes Martin Truex Jr. He will make the pass on Kurt Busch to take the second spot away. Chase Elliott's got a long way to go to hold on, and now when he looks in the rearview mirror, he sees Martin Truex Jr. Certainly trying to watch, you know, trying to keep an eye on what he had going on, but also, and more importantly, trying to minimize how much you were looking in the mirror, because that can, that can mess with you. Truex closes in, then Chase Elliott opens back up. Truex shaves off a car length. Elliott responds and adds a car length back to the lead. And the plan was to kind of get out front and save some fuel, but the 78 didn't cooperate, unfortunately. We had to run harder than I wanted to run, and Chase wanted to run, and you know, keep him behind us, which isn't an easy task. And it was kind of a game that Martin and I played. Truex definitely closing in on Chase Elliott. The battle is very intense. And then he started pressing and pushing me pretty hard, and I didn't have an opportunity to save. The crowd here at the Glen on their feet. Coming to the white, I thought I had a great gap, and I was just kind of telling myself, all right, just clean lap. And he stopped the mark, and he drew it off the track. He went wide in turn number one. A critical mistake for Elliott. 
and I go in the first turn and, and mess up. Luckily, I had a big enough gap on him to where he didn't get up next to me. I felt a lot better about it again. Truex is off the pace on the straightaway. Run that again. When Martin ran out, I knew we won. That was pretty much it. Bring it home, just bring it home. Chase Elliott is going to victory lane. Yeah, baby, yeah! Hell yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you, yes! Super proud of you. Super proud of you, boy. Nobody understands what you do on the racetrack more than your peers and the people you race against. So to have the respect to some of those guys is, is very meaningful to me. I need a push, baby, I need a push. Jimmy Johnson tucked in behind the nine car and said, you know what, bud, I'll give you a lift. That's badass, man. You know, Jimmy's been a great friend. I've leaned on him a lot. For him to be the guy to push me to victory lane was something I'll never forget. You know, a lot of emotion, a lot of relief. It's been kind of a tough road all makes a hell of a story.